Hi everyone, today we are in lesson 11.3 and that is on page 425 in your colored math books. The lesson is measure and draw angles. It says how can you use a protractor to measure and draw angles? I know you'll be very excited because we get to use protractors today. So let's go to unlocking the problem. Emma wants a clay sculpture of her daughter as she appears in the photo from her dance recital. How can she measure angle D, C, E, or the angle formed by her daughter's arms? Remember, C has to be in the middle, just a little review about that. So C will always be the vertex right there, angle C. Okay, let's get started on this. Place the center point of the protractor on the vertex C of the angle. So I'm going to pull out my protractor. Pretty cool, huh? And this, so this is your protractor. To give you some little things about this, here's your 90 degrees right here. So if you go from here to the zero, it makes a right angle. Also, if you go from here to this zero, it also makes a right angle. So those are your two things. When you want to line the center of the vertex up, you want to do it with this center right here. That point right in the center. So let's do that. Now you're going to want to put that right there on the center. And you're going to want to have this zero right here. You're going to want to have that on this um, ray right here. So if you see when I put it up there, I'm going to put this center, I'm going to put this right in the center on that C, or on the vertex right there, and I'm going to put this line right on the ray. Oops. So I should scooch it over just a little right there. So you see the first thing I did was I lined that vertex up with that center point. And then I put that ray CE on the zero right there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to look up here. Now, I see it falls right here at the 60 and at 120. Well, that's the thing. What do you need to write? Is it going to be 60 or 120? Let's see what they have us doing right here. Align the mark of the scale of this, align the zero degree mark on the scale with ray C, E, and that's what we did. Find ray where ray C, D intersects the same scale. Read the measure that is on the scale. Extend the ray if you need to. Okay, so that's what we did. Now let's just see here. It says 60 and 120. So how do I know what it is? Well, remember, we started over here, and we, I already showed you that this was 90 degrees right here. So 90 degrees. Is my angle larger than 90 degrees? Or is it smaller than 90 degrees? Is it at an obtuse angle or is it an acute angle? Or is it a right angle? We already kind of determined that it wasn't a right angle. So there's your 90 degrees right there. So 90, it is larger than 90. So what comes after 90? getting larger. Would it be 80 or 100? It would be 100. So then you're going to keep going to the larger one, 110, 120. So it would be 120 degrees. All right, not too hard. You just have to know one little trick that you have to know is you have to be able to figure out which one it would be. Would it be the 
larger number or would it be the smaller number? But it's not too hard when you look. Because if it's larger than 90, it'll be the larger number. If it was smaller than 90, it would be the smaller number. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, I have my protractor out. And now it says, use a protractor to draw KLM with a measure of 82 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw, uh, first way I want to do is I want to, oops, let me close this one. First what I want to do is I want to draw a line. So let me do that first. I'm just going to draw a straight line. Just like that. We actually probably should move it. Whoops. Move it down a little, but I guess we'll leave it there. Now I'm going to get my protractor out. What I'm going to do with this protractor is I'm going to, well, let's label the vertex first. Sorry, I mean the ray first. Pen, I'm going to use blue. I'm going to make it a ray because I only made the draw a little circle there. Now it is definitely an array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label it L M. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to get my handy dandy protractor. Remember this center right there, where those two lines meet, the perpendicular lines right there, goes right there. And then this line should line up with a zero. All right, so we're good so far. Now remember, we need 82. 82. So let's see what it says next. Place the center of the protractor on point L. Align array LM with the zero mark on your protractor. I know it's a little hard to read, but you can see it in your book. Okay, 82. Mm, this is going to be the tricky part because I'm going to go back like that to this first step so you can see the screen better. I'm going to go like this and use my little pen to make a little dot right here just so I can know where I'm going to go. So... There's 80 over here, or there's 80 over here. What 80 do I want to go with? Well, remember, if I go with this 80, and I go 81, 82, my angle is going to be obtuse. Is that really 82? From here all the way over here, it's more than a right angle. So it's going to have to be on this side, because from here to here, and this is all my acute angles. And I know 82 is less than 90, and that is an acute angle. So 81, 82, we're going to be about there. I'm trying to draw there, right about there. All right. So I'm going to take my handy dandy line. I'm going to start from, I think I'm going to have to move my protractor first. Let me move that. And I'm going to go get my line tool again. I have it. And I'm going to start from here. And I'm going to go up to there. And remember, it is a ray, so it needs to be like that. And this would be your K. Let me put my protractor back and see how it looks. So first thing I do is I line that perpendicular line up. 
with that center point. I wish I could move it over just a smidge bit. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So if we started from zero and we went 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. That looks pretty good. Let's see what the next step say. We did that step. Let's see what this step says. Use the seam scale mark. Use using the seam scale mark a point at 82. Label the point K. Got it. And let's see what the last one says. Draw the ray L K. Yep, we got it. So we know that it's an acute angle, and yep, it definitely is an acute angle. And it's 82 degrees. All right, let's go back and make sure we got everything. So, oh, there's my protractor. <laughs> How can you use a protractor to measure and draw angles? Well, we measured the first angle right here with the protractor. Definitely put that center point right on that center point of our vertex. And we measured it here, lining up our zero. Probably should go down a little. Lining up the zero. And we could see that it was greater than 90, so it was 120, 110, I mean 100, 110, 120. There is our first way we measured the angle. And the second one, we drew the angle. And we know that was 82. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will see everyone in class. Bye, everyone.